problems with my monthly periods. Um, I've been bleeding for seven to ten days, she says, and after this time, uh, the flow doesn't go away. Uh, sometimes the discharge is different colorish. Um, presently, I'm undergoing some surgical procedure. Um, she said, I'm really confused as to when I can pray, when I can start uh, uh, doing those ibadat. Okay. Uh, first of all, as long as you're still having the period, you do not uh, enter the menopause, then once there is bleeding, there is some doubt that it could be a regular monthly cycle or monthly period. Mm. How to determine whether it is or not? When if, if a woman has a regular and a fixed number of days during the month or each month that she gets a period for five, six, or seven days, then once she gets that, that is a period, even if there is an interruption in the middle, the bleeding stops, then it returns. Within the same period, that is definitely the bleeding of the period as well. Second, if it goes beyond the regular cycle, so if your cycle is five and it's gone beyond that, six, seven, eight, nine, as long as, as, long as it is extended and non-stop, it was not interrupted with purity, then that too is uh, from the monthly period. And if it, it becomes consistent every month from, the, uh, from now on, then your, your period has transformed to uh, another period, becomes greater uh, or longer in time. There is another condition, just to help you to determine whether this bleeding is the, ple- the bleeding of the period or not. What difference does it make if I know it is a ble- the bleeding of the period or not? It makes all the difference. Because if it is the bleeding of the period, the monthly cycle or the ministration, that you're not allowed to pray, nor fast, nor touch the Qur'an, nor have a relationship with your husband. But if it is an irregular bleeding due to any cause, medication, etc., sickness, uh, uh, psychology, whatever, in this condition, this irregular bleeding, you still have to pray. Not that you're allowed to pray, no. You still have to pray, but make a special tahara for each salah. And you pray all the related nawafil along with this fard. So you make wudu for dhuhr, you may pray the sunan before and after dhuhr, all the way until asr. And whenever asr salah is due, then you make a new wudu after the adhan, not before. To pray the sunnah of asr and salatul asr as well. And can I read Qur'an in this condition? Yes, you can. No problem, because this is an irregular bleeding. This is not the bleeding of the minister wishing. I said, if the bleeding pops up all of a sudden, there are some, we call it physical characteristics, features <laughs> with it. Every woman could determine whether this bleeding is the bleeding of the minister wishing or not. Such as the color, the dark red color, mm. and offensive smell. So if this is the case, this is the period. But if it is bright red or brownish or uh, yellowish, it is totally different color, then this is an irregular bleeding as well. Meaning, if a woman experienced her monthly period, then she saw a tahara after she cleaned up herself and the piece, the, the piece of cotton came uh, clean, then she's tahir. Then a couple of days later, she saw some brownish color or yellowish color, that doesn't hurt. This is not the period. Because the physical characteristics of this blood or this excretion is different from the characteristics of the regular bleeding of the minister wish. And Allah knows best. Sisters, uh, the issues related to the monthly period and the menses are very complicated because each woman has his own story. That's why uh, our sheikh used to say that women's issues, questions, is like an ocean without shore. Each woman has his own, her own uh, story. So this is a general answer. But if it doesn't fit your case exactly, then you have to ask the question yourself to explain exactly uh, your story. Exactly. And if you want to ask us questions, please do send us an email at ask at